Most fundraising is going to happen at the end of the year, so we need all hands on deck. One place that we really need to look at closely is the donation page itself. So what this is, this is just a very quick checklist of things that you can do to make sure that you're getting the most out of the donation page. So the list is right at the beginning of the presentation, and I'm going to go over each one very quickly. So the first one is to make sure that the donation page is mobile friendly. More and more people are going to be accessing your donation page than ever before from a mobile device. All right. Number two, make sure that there's a compelling story. You really have to have a story that pulls people in so that they feel that emotional component that they're going to need that pushes them over the edge to make that donation because people will make a donation, but primarily based on emotional reasons. And you can tap into those reasons if you feature a compelling story. Make sure there's a clear call to action. If someone's on your donation page, they are asking themselves, well, how do I do it? What do I need to do? Show me, show me, show me. You need to show them. Uh, make sure that there's a sense of urgency too. So people can go to your donation page and they can see a really amazing story and they can see a clear call to action. But the question remains, why now? Why should I make a donation right now? So you need to answer that. So here's a great example where the organization is leveraging a match. So this match is only good for X amount of time. It's very limited. So now is the time. If you're going to make any donation ever, at any point, now is really the time to do it. Make sure you're using images on the donation page. Don't use jargon or big words. In fact, I always recommend cut your copy by 50%. Cut it down by 50%. Use small words that are very simple, very direct. And I love this example right here. Give a little, help a lot. Girls get less than two cents of a development aid dollar shake that up. It's very, very straightforward. In fact, that's a pretty powerful call to action. Make use of arrows. So if you have a lot of material on your donation page, a lot of information, make sure that you're gently coaxing people down the right path with arrows. Okay. Make sure the donation page is optimized for search page title. We see the link and then the meta description. So this is basically a Google search for donating to a brain cancer organization. This organization shows up on page one. Only ask for the minimum amount of information on your form. So we have first name, last name, street, city, state, zip, email address. To make a donation, we really don't need the street address or the physical address unless we are going to send them a paper receipt. Keep in mind, you can always get this information later on. So once you have their first name and email, you can go back to them and engage them in another campaign where you're acquiring their address and more information. Offer uh, donation amounts, you know, suggest an amount. Don't just have an open box. Give people three to five different choices. Keep them doable. Make sure that they're, um, you know, not $200, 500 and 1000 Make sure it's 15 20 5 50 something like that, okay? Uh, don't include a sidebar in your donation page. So in your website, make sure you're removing the sidebar because that just gives people a reason to do something else other than what you want them to do, which is they're on that page. You want them to complete that transaction. Don't have any other competing call to actions. Don't say, you know, here's a link to our latest video, or you can subscribe to our blog or follow us on Twitter. Those are all competing call to actions. You only want donate, click here, make a pledge, and that's it. Make sure the button is a contrasting color. So it's not necessarily the actual color itself, like red versus blue versus orange. It's really how that color contrasts to other colors on the donation page. And we see here with Live Strong, $25 and the credit card, that really stands out. These, so we're, our, our attention is directed. We know exactly what to do. And in fact, these colors match the brand nicely. I'm not saying yellow is a good color. And I'm not saying that the colors should match your brand. I'm saying the colors should contrast all the other colors on the donation page. Okay. Uh, include a phone number. So this is pretty easy to do. You just add a phone number to the bottom of the donation page. Most people are not going to pick up the phone. They will just complete the transaction, but many people will feel more confident that there's a phone number. And so they may not use the phone number, but it adds that certain level of confidence to that transaction. Okay. Uh, this is a, an important one. Make sure that new donors are redirected to a thank you page. That's going to be critical. And the reason why is because then you can track 
conversions. So it's very simple. In Google Analytics, you find this page, the thank you page, and you simply, you know, look at, well, how many people visited this page? That's the number of completed transactions because people are only going to see this page if they hit submit, transaction was received and confirmed, and then they hit this thank you page, okay? That's why you need that. Uh, also on the thank you page, make sure that there's social sharing. So someone just made a, a donation, right? Who are they thinking about? They're thinking about your organization. That's such a rare time when people are actually thinking about you and you are top of mind. So that's the time that they're going to be highly likely to share the campaign with their friends. If you wait two or three days and say, hey, you made a donation two or three days ago, can you share this campaign? You're going to miss that opportunity. The, the, the love and the passion and the emotion is kind of faded a little bit. They're still interested in your cause, but they've moved on to other things in their life. Okay. Uh, track the thank you page in Google Analytics, like I mentioned before. Uh, make sure that they receive an email too. So when someone submits a donation, make sure that right away they see a thank you page, but they also receive an email that says, thanks a lot. We really appreciate it. And make sure that you're encouraging them to share the campaign with their friends in that email. All right. So you need to ask twice, ask once on the thank you page and ask in the email. All right. So here's a full list right here. You can print out this page, sit down with uh, you know a couple other people and just go down this list. Check, 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 check. That way you're going to be hopefully a little bit more prepared for year end. So that is it. So I'm going to open this up for Q&A.